EA Sports, and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to feature some of the best young talent in the world of golf. From the Canadian Rockies in Banff Springs, live second round coverage of the Canadian Championship. Things starting to slowly take shape here on this Friday. For some, it is a race for the top prize. For others, it's a fight to stick around for the weekend as we show you the leaderboard. We're looking at a tie at the top at seven under par. Our featured golfer right in it, just a couple of shots off the pace. That's a beauty there to get this second round underway. Frank, now the second shot here at the par four opening hole. And what are we looking at? Well, with a short iron in hand, Rich, I mean, you just go flag hunting straight out of the gate. It's a generous green. Okay, that's acceptable there. A birdie putt at one. We check in with Nota Begay. And this is one where you just gotta keep the hand steady and the wrist quiet, making sure you get it started online. That one just gonna sneak on by. Safely in. It's a par here at first, and she'll remain two shots off the pace. So, Frank, a par four to open, and we back it up with a relatively short par three. This green surrounded by six bunkers. Green also shapes slightly towards the player's left, so just keep your eye on that, depending on where the flag is. Okay, safely aboard. This one gonna require some pace back up the hill for birdie. We needed a touch more speed and that would have gone in. That finished off for par, you with the second. And she'll stay three shots off the lead. Frank, plenty of scoring opportunities in the early portion of this golf course. We're now at a par five, the third hole, and it's only 528 yards. You can see why we're going to see a lot of people perhaps being three under through the first three holes, Rich. This uh, par five bending to the right, very reachable. You just keep uh, that tee shot nice and high off the tee, let it carry as far as possible.
just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. Got every bit of that foot all the way there and got it to stop. Home in two on the par five. Ten foot putt left. Okay, nicely done. That's in for Birdie here at three. And she moves to six under par. Frank, when you play Banff, you, you get some of these wow moments where you stand on the tee and you say, ooh, look at this. This is one, <laughs> yeah, this is one of them, Rich. Yeah, that, the elevation change from tee to green is, uh, is quite dramatic. Consequently, you're going to have to club down a little. At least two clubs shorter than what that yardage says on the card. That one, safely on the putting surface. Now this, for birdie. And not a particularly demanding putt here. Maybe slightly down an incline, but it is dead straight. Oh, good run going here early. This is birdies at three and four. And she'll get it to seven under. Well, again, Frank, we get that good mix of holes here. We've had a couple of par threes, a short par five, and that opening par four. Now at the fifth hole, 424-yard par four. The first bunker on the right, not really in play for the good players. Uh, just be a little cognizant of that one on the left side, you know, on what club you want to hit off the tee. Um, ideally, that line is the third bunker, the one in the distance. That's a good line off the tee here. Yeah, good swing and a good result. As that is safely into the fairway. Set now for the second shot, par four fifth. Just be aware of where the flag is. If it's cut in that front section, you definitely want to carry the front of the green. Um, hole is a little more difficult when they start to push that flag in the back left. You can see it narrow up there.
Uh, it's a bit of a head turner, really. That was a green light situation from that distance and uh, far from the best shot I've seen today. Yeah, that's a good putt. It is a par here at the fifth, and she'll remain at seven under. Frank, you played at the highest level all over the world. What was a comfortable yardage for you on holes like this? I actually had a club, believe it or not, that it, just the grooves on it, it would go 105 yards. It was a lofted sand on, whether it was out of the first cut or up with a fairway. So if I could hit it around 100 yards, I could almost hit that distance with my eyes closed. After that, 70 yards was the next one. So everybody has that little sort of sweet spot with the wedge. So that means on a hole like this, you were looking for something off the tee in the 265 to 270 range, and, and that would put what club in your hand? Just a, in those days, it was a 53 degree sand eye, yeah. Yep, played that nicely. That'll work out just fine. Nine feet left here for birdie. Oh, right by the hole. The longer putts, you don't mind as much. The short ones, they tend to sting. Safely in for par here at the sixth. And her score is going to stay right where it is. Now to the second par five on this opening nine. Frank, this is a pretty long hole, 602 yards. Well, it's called hoodoo. You know what hoodoo means? It means bad luck, actually. So you don't really want to be thinking about that on this tee shot. 602 yards if you belt one off the tee. Well, you might avoid the bad luck. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. Two solid shots at the par five and found the green side bunker. Lie looks good. Now, just needed a good bunker shot.
Okay, a good out, and that's what will remain for Birdie. Oh, goodness, that is too bad. That would have been a good birdie, but not to be. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. And her score is going to stay right where it is. Now to hole number eight. It's another par three with some water. Frank, only 150 yards. This is the shortest hole in the golf course. But distance control is still very important. If you can get the right distance, you could perhaps aim 10 or 15 feet left of the flag. You're only going to have a 10 or 15 foot putt. So uh, just, just think of that. Water on the right there. Maybe just aim a little further to the left. You can still make birdie. Yeah, that's a good spot to be on the front portion of the green with a birdie putt coming up. Birdie putt coming up, and we go to Iona Steven. And Rich, this is a green I am familiar with, and this putt is slower than most people realize. Slightly up that slope, a little bit of movement from right to left. Mm, got it there, but not quite on target. Okay, that in four par here at the eighth. And she'll remain one shot off the lead. Now to hole number nine, 501 yards, it's a par five. Yeah, we finished with the third par five on the front nine. Uh, you're just gonna come through those uh, sort of shoot of marvelous trees that define this fairway. Just avoid the right side. Something down the left side is gonna open up uh, the second shot. Nothing to fault there. Safety in the fairway. Now a big spot here for something good. This is a short second to the par five. That one had to feel good. Yeah, struck it so well. You could see that by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green. Landed so softly. take advantage of a par five. It's in for an eagle three, superb. Frank, we begin this back nine with a real test. It's a 218 yard par three. And it's very easy to get lulled into the shape of that lake there on the right side and try and hit a cut in here. But uh, that cut's gonna work against the natural shape of the hole. If anything, a nice high draw.
Wow, that is about all you can say there. Expertly judged. So this has been an absolute clinic, and that nearly the capper with a hole in one, but instead it is just a tap in birdie. So off the long par three tent, we are at the 11th hole, 417 yard par four, Frank. It looks like a straightaway par four, Rich, but if anything, the hole actually bends to the left and you really want to follow that natural contour of that. Just sort of draw it off those bunkers on the right or just simply carry it over the ones on the left. But ideally down the left side, it avoids that pine tree that's further down. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend in that. Another good drive here. Okay, on the green, but it's going to leave a putt that will get your attention. Chance now for another birdie. And players of this caliber should make this on a regular basis pretty flat with just a slight movement to the left. Not to be a little short, but a, a good effort there. So that brushed in for par here at 11, and the lead's going to remain two. All right, on to the 12th hole, 442-yard par four. What do you like about this hole, Frank? Just a nice par four that sort of bends to the player's right. A lot of people will just stand up here, grab the driver. I don't really think you have to do that, Rich. The hole's not overly long. Just something short or down that left side. Um, you're only going to have a short iron in for your second shot. Is starting up the right side. Yeah, it all looks so simple when you're going good, doesn't it? And that is yet another solid drive. All right, Frank, another chance to make something happen here at the 12th. You could come in here a little low, try and skip it back towards the flag as it starts to narrow up to the back of the green. But um, you know, anything a little underneath the flag, maybe slightly to the right of it, is going to be a better place to putt from. Nothing wrong with that approach shot. Just a little shy of where you'd like to finish up, but still, one good putt, maybe a birdie. Not that time. Pretty good effort, but it'll wander a couple of feet by. That one safely in. It's a par here at 12. And she's going to hold on at minus 10. Well, Frank, here's another pretty long par three, the 13th here at Bamp Springs, 225 yards. What's the right play? Well, unless they have that flag all low in the back, um, that first two thirds of the green is just like a nice big circle. You hit it anywhere on that, you're going to have a putt of some 20, 25 feet maximum for birdie.
That's going to be on the putting surface and a birdie look straight ahead. Now this for another birdie. Oh, no problems at all. The pace perfect. It is in for birdie. And she'll move to 11 under. On to the 14th hole now. It's a par four, 442 yards. And what's the right way to attack here, Frank? Two choices. Try and squeeze it down the right side, uh, just short of those big bunkers on that right. Either that or carry the bunker complex on the left. A little awkward. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. Second shot. Good look at the green. Oh, nothing wrong with that iron shot. It's a good one. Just a little short, a little right, but still a very good place to putt from. Another rolled in there. Birdie's now at 13 and 14. And she'll move to 12 under par. Now to the 15th tee, and Frank, this looks like a fun shot to hit. It won't play its full yardage because of that elevated tee, but uh, a good crank, a good one out here. We might see one of those 350, 360 plus yard drives. This one turning left a bit off the tee. Once again, another great tee shot. Uh, I'm starting to wonder how low can you go? And the driving has been simply superb. This nota, her second from the fairway. He's got 144 yards remaining to the hole. Pin is in the left back portion of the green. Now it's a decent sized green. It's not bad, just a little past the hole. 18 footer. Not quite online, and that'll drift a couple feet by.
Okay, a solid par here at the 15th. And she'll hold steady at 12 under par. Frank, the 16th hole, 414 yards, par four is nicknamed GOAT. Would, would that be greatest of all time, or is it just because the possibility you, you could see old Billy out there here in the Canadian Rockies? Uh, I'd like to think it's the, uh, the greatest of all time. Uh, I've never seen a GOAT hit a draw, that's why, and that's what's needed off this tee once again. The first bunk, you should easily be able to carry that, and, uh, well, if you're the greatest of all time, this is a fairway, you'll certainly hit. That was flirting with disaster the whole way, and it's going to wind up hopping into the bunker. Now this, an awkward distance for a bunker shot. Let's put it mildly. The tee shot was good. My bunker shot, barely borderline. Chance now for another birdie. And this certainly would be a bonus if it goes in. You just need to make sure you get it there and give yourself a chance. Never up, never in. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. And her score's gonna stay right where it is. Just two holes left here at Banff Springs, and Frank, another par four. This one, uh, short, 374 yards. It is, it's, it's named Sasi, which is a tribute to the Indian tribes here and the First Nations of, uh, of Canada. So uh, just think about that when you're teeing it off here on, on what is not an overly difficult par four. This one starting a little left off the tee. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend. And that, another good drive here. Took the big stick off the tee, but still challenging short second shot coming up here, Frank. A much shorter second shot here on 17, Rich. But because that green's elevated, you've actually got to be that much more precise with this pitch. Okay, that's acceptable there. 15 feet away.
Oh, needed just a little bit of a turn, but that will somehow stay right on the edge. No problems there. That's par here at 17. And this will remain a three-shot lead. Well, here we are at the final hole here at Banff Springs. 578 yard par five and Frank a chance to finish the round with a flourish. If you're one of the fortunate to hit this fairway, it's very reachable, but uh, well protected by bunkers left, right, central bunkers as well. You really have to be aware of two things, the wind direction and exactly how far you can carry that tee shot if you want to find this fairway. Ah, uh, solid, a good drive in the fairway. Frank, this is one of my favorite shots in all of golf. Second to a par five finishing hole. We know we have a chance to see some fireworks. Yeah, that drive has certainly cut this uh, hole down to size. And second shot just a little bit uphill, but you can see this is just green light. Massive entry into the front of this green. Has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five. Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. Now this for another birdie. Yeah, that's well played. It's a birdie at 18. So another look at the leaderboard, and you'll almost do a double take, Frank, our featured golfer with a commanding lead.